There's something really satisfying about watching giant robots beat up giant monsters. Or vice versa. From anime and manga to blockbuster movies to alt-rock concept albums, giant robots are everywhere. But where did these robots come from, and how have their battles become such a staple in pop culture? In 1956, author and illustrator Mitsutero Yokoyama wrote the manga Tetsujin 28 Go, which centered on a young boy who controls a giant robot via remote control. Guillermo del Toro cited Tetsujin as an inspiration for his film Pacific Rim in a 2013 interview. The manga was developed into an anime in 1963 in which the boy and his robot fought against other giant robots. Tetsujin was the first anime or manga to include giant robots, but it wasn't until 1972 that the robots really became a staple of the genre. Rather than operating by remote control like Tetsujin, the giant robot in Mazinger Z was piloted from a cockpit located in the robot's head, a trope that would become the norm in mecha fiction. Mazinger Z was instrumental in creating the mecha anime boom of the 1970s. Partially, the series showed other creators what giant robots could be, but no less important was the fact that toy manufacturers realized the profitability of giant robots as toys, a trend that would reach its peak in 1982 with the invention of the Transformers franchise. Del Toro has also cited the popularity of Mazinger Z in Mexico in the 1980s for his interest in giant robots in the first place. The first live-action giant robot was in a series called Johnny Sacco and His Flying Robot, which laid the groundwork for kaiju versus robot battles during its run from 1967 to 1968. But the first majorly influential live-action giant robot was in a property already familiar to many Western audiences. In the mid-1970s, Marvel signed a deal with Japanese production company Toei, and the wild TV show Supida Man was born. But with Supida Man came his trusty sidekick, robot slash spaceship Leopardon. The show was an inspiration for Super Sentai, Toei's next big project to also prominently feature giant robots. Super Sentai is well known outside of Japan as the inspiration for Power Rangers. Power Rangers! In the late 1970s and early 1980s, animation studio Sunrise developed what is perhaps the most influential giant robot franchise of all time, Gundam. The franchise has spun out into dozens of series and movies, all of which focus on giant robotic armor suits known as Gundam. In 2014, the franchise generated nearly $800 million in revenue. Gundam is so popular in Japan that commemorative stamps have even been issued in its honor. There's even a scale replica of a Gundam suit in Tokyo, which fanboy Guillermo del Toro admired on a Japanese TV show in 2013. <laughs> the 1980s also saw one of the first examples of several robots joining together to form a bigger robot, with Voltron, which Pacific Rim Uprising co-writer Emily Carmichael cites as one of her biggest inspirations for working on the film. Voltron was needed once more. This is the story of the super force of space explorers. From anime like Neon Genesis Evangelion, or the currently airing Darling in the Franks, to mainstream blockbusters like The Avengers Age of Ultron and the Transformers series, it seems like we're living in a new golden age of giant robot battles. With Pacific Rim Uprising, giant robots continue to be a point of focus for Hollywood. And even if you aren't a fan of the genre, there's no denying how satisfying this is to watch. 